finally getting a bit tired of this place. I mean, I really like this dungeon, but it's clever, has a lot of strong enemies in it, lots of nice pu unique puzzles in it, so... Boo out of nowhere! F*** you! Okay, well, I can take out the Chomp Bros in, like, a few seconds. Oh, well, with just a single Splash Bros. Okay. Well, he's tired out now. Jeez, okay, he's... Can we hit him? And preferably finish him off. I friggin' pressed B! I don't care what anybody says, I pressed B there. Wow, I avoided the fireball there. That was actually really good. Oh god, I did not mean for a time timer here. Dang. What? I'm in the middle of recording, Mom. Come on, please don't be alarmed. Okay, that wasn't actually all that bad. That was actually really good. I got like 10 seconds to leave to start on that. Uh, something that would be seem like something out of jokes in. I think these dungeons might actually be based off of previous dungeons we were in. Yeah, this is really similar to that one area in jokes in. We have the yellow blocks that you have to use this for. And then you hit that, which causes the bridge to show up. Yeah, this is like exactly like jokes in. Jeez. I'm not sure if that's just called being lazy or not, but... Eh, the one good thing about this area, unlike Joke Sand, is that you don't have to play that stupid block minigame again. I hate that so much. Oh yeah, of course, you need to go the other way. Why am I not surprised? Um, so... Last night I was going back and rewatching a lot of old Super Scarmory videos, the ones that I actually find like entertaining. Just general stuff like the Mario 3 bloopers and um just like the some of the new Super Mario Bros. bloopers and the bingo video and a bunch of other stuff like that, so just because I really do miss the older Super Scarmory, I like, this newer stuff I just don't it's not amusing. It's Boring and wrong move. It's just boring and not exciting, honestly. Like, there's not really anything that could be considered exciting about it. Oh crap. Uh, here we have something kind of fun, actually. I should shut up, though. It's, um, you're playing tennis with the bob bomb. You gotta make sure it doesn't hit the bob bomb. I actually do sort of like this here. Oh wow, I actually got it there. And now I can open that gate for... Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Heading through, heading through. Wrong move. Okay, time for final Koopaling. Larry Koopa! Larry's the final bot. Larry is the final Koopa. Mario World. And, uh, I don't have anything else I can really say about Larry, to be honest. He's actually really, really easy. He's just like, just like Lemmy and Lemmy, and, uh, Lemmy and, um, Iggy, for that matter. 
he really doesn't have that much HP for a final Koopling. I just... Wow. Oh, he broke out of it. Well, that was good. Oh, wow. Well, he tried attacking me, reflecting with the mirror. But he failed. Well, I failed while reflecting it. He was gonna try to. Okay. 13, 13, 13, 13, 31. Oh, he's, he's even using his brother's attacks. That's just meat sauce. Honestly, you could have done a lot more with this guy. And, he, like um, most of the others, he can have his defense dropped. I just didn't use it because at this point in the game, not, I don't really need the defense drop anymore for most of the bosses. Ah! Magic Koopas! Okay, got out of that fight because I ran. Because I didn't feel like fighting a Magic Koopa. Now that you've taken care of all the Koopalings, the rest of the dungeon's pretty short, actually. It's only long because you're really fighting all the Koopalings. And we have one final boss before the final boss. I'm going to cover in the rest of this video, video session. We're at the Lava Passage. We have a re really large amount of coins right now. Anyways, heading up. Through here. Yep, I have theory. At last, my entrance was drama. Finally, now's the time where I threw my chat to bay and angry sunbeams of rage. I love this. <laughs> Staying at the spot like such a gallows me cackling my nerves are nervous. <laughs> now that I'm thinking cackling this revival was all thanks to my quite nasty efforts. Which means all this time I'm the bottom was just today and such work all for others. <laughs> I love how he just puts on pink tights and thinks that he's so awesome. Okay, Fawful. The last time we fight Fawful in this game. Fawful is kind of hard, actually. I can say that. If you don't know what you're doing with Fawful, think about this guy. He doesn't take any damage. Always in that stupid thing. He is 100% invincible while he's in that. Get yes. text there. Okay. You could just reflect electricity. I think this guy is around 4 500 HP somewhere. What? How do you use red text? That would, did not make sense. Okay, Ultrana. I, to damage him other than counterattacks, you have to wait for a certain part in the fight. I, how is that weight status? I was getting hit by electricity. Okay, yeah, this attack here, this is the attack you want to wait for because... Oh god, I took out way too few of them. Normally supposed to take out a lot of them. But, after you use it, it overheats! Meaning, it's now your time to attack. Um, you wanna use th a specific Thunder Bros? Yeah, hit him like that, which causes his defense to drop, and now's your chance to actually hit him. And now you can do over 200 hit points worth of damage to him per hit. Meaning, he can go down pretty easy. Yeah, only takes about one each turn by using that. I'm almost done in this recording session, just give me a second. Okay, HP goes up by two. And level 32 for Luigi. Yeah. And I'm just gonna upgrade HP again because I think it might help me a little bit more in the final boss. Plus five, not bad. 
was when mine is crazy and somehow managed to lose. This must be fate or I must accept the beating. I have theory! And now taste the finale when you're careless opens the door and come back not expected by you. Life split now, but you're a character of a cartoon drawn by a kid who was stupid. I want that line. <laughs> you shall fall advantage with your precious BP because I laugh perfectly at you. Yep, I kinda knew Prince Pisu was coming. The finale is the finale when the middle hits beat my precious. Come back and come back upon. Ha 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 ha. I have fury. The last moments of the finale of the finale when the relief lands and it'll get to the beat. He gets thrashes. That last one come back is faltered by your beast. Then you come back to that stop back. Nice! <laughs> and Fawful gets blown up, but he does appear in the other game Mario and Luigi games. He uh, has a he has um an appearance in Partners in Time and then he foreshadows his major role in Bowser's Inside Story. Anyways, through there is the final boss. Right here, you're at the Bowser's Power Door. I'm gonna be backtracking to the castle. Um, we'll backtrack through the castle and leave if you need to, which is what I'm gonna be doing. But for now, that is it. This LP is almost over. But next segment will be the finale of the finale for the greatest of the greatest. In the next segment is when we finish up this LP. See you guys then.